friends let us uh, understand the mechanism of labor in one go right because uh, what i gave you was uh, the theory right so let us see how in practicality all these actions happen together so what is happening this is a well flexed head look at this this is a well flexed head and in a well flexed head the sinciput that is the forehead is going to be higher than the occiput this occiput is going to be lower down right now this well flexed head is going to enter the pelvis right and the engaging diameter i am talking about the left occipital transverse position so the occiput is directed to the left side here all right so it is going to be the left occipital transverse position all right and as we can appreciate that the engaging diameter is going to be the sub occipital from below the occiput to the anterior fontanelle that is the bregma right so it is going to be the sub occipital bregmatic diameter in the well flexed vertex which is going to engage at the pelvis right so this biparietal diameter this biparietal diameter is going to cross the pelvic brim the head is going to get engaged all right it is the lot position and engagement and flexion is going to be maintained 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 till the occiput is going to push and reach the pelvic floor at the level of the ischial spine so these are the ischial spines here and the occiput has reached the level of the ischial spines when that happens there is going to be internal rotation all right so if you appreciate internal rotation this is what is going to happen all right now the occiput is going to lie behind the symphysis pubis all right now out there uh, right now i did not show you what happens to the shoulders all right so let me try show you what happens to the shoulders during this point in time let's have a look at this here in the left occipital transverse position the sagittal suture as you can see is transversely placed the occiput is to the left side of the mother the left side of the mother is in this video you will be seeing on to your right side but that is not the right side of the mother that is the left side of the mother so it is the left side for us period okay so the occiput or the posterior fontanelle so we know that it is the occiput which is to the left side we can confirm by looking at the posterior fontanelle the di uh, the triangular shaped space which is directed to the left side and the diamond shaped that is the anterior fontanelle is directed towards the right side right so this is the sagittal suture in the transverse plane right so sagittal suture is transversely placed meaning it is the left occipital transverse position so now as we can see what has happened is that from the left occipital transverse position the sagittal suture from being transversely placed the occiput actually rotated 1 by 8 all right and then 2 by 8 of a circle and then the sagittal suture is placed in the antero posterior diameter all right now when that happened there was 2 by 8 tension on the fetal neck right so what has happened the shoulders move in the same direction as the occiput by 1 by 8 of a circle and now the shoulders you can appreciate the back is obliquely placed and these two arms all right they are obliquely placed all right so the shoulders have now come to lie in the oblique diameter and this is the left oblique diameter of the inlet all right so shoulders are now going to enter the pelvis and in the left oblique diameter all right so friends i have removed the shoulders for ease of demonstration but you can see here that once the head is now going to descend further and further down and it is going to get delivered by extension so it is going to be the occiput which is coming out and then the vertex and then the face right so finally the face is brought by born by extension all right and then of course there's this slight untwisting that happens all right head slightly shifts 1 by 8 of a circle that is restitution and then flops down and then flops down all right 
so immediately after restitution as you can see here the shoulders are still in the oblique diameter but to come out of the pelvis the shoulders have to internally rotate again back into the ap diameter all right so these shoulders are going to rotate back into the ap diameter and simultaneously what is going to be seen externally is the external rotation of the fetal head so now what happens is that the shoulders are going to rotate internally and simultaneously what we are going to see it on the outside is external rotation of the head. So when external rotation of the head occurs what has happened is again the head is placed back you know uh, the occiput is facing the left side of the maternal thigh and the shoulders have come to lie in the AP diameter. So it was something like this all right in the oblique plane all right the shoulders were in the oblique diameter they come back rotate internally all right come into the ap diameter and what we see it externally is as the external rotation all right so that is what happens and after this these shoulders are going to deliver being in the ap diameter and then the rest of the body is going to get born by expulsion so these are the cardinal movements of labor i hope you understood them with this video